Alright, some more with Lady Precious Stream. We'll just find out where we were the last time. <coughs> okay. Mata says, our home is far, far in the west. Kiang Hai says, we are somewhat tongue-tied. Oh, hold on. Okay, so we're at the end, and basically, uh, Sing ran off, ditched his princess. So I'll start right there. She retires with attendants and maids, and then our soldiers, four officers, and the two aides de camp appear with military equipment. These two aides are arrayed in ridiculous attire and with funnily painted faces. Mata says, Our home is far, far in the northwest. Kiang Hai says, We are somewhat tongue tied. Mata says, Beef and mutton are what we like best. Kiang Hai says, Big camels are what we ride. Mata saluting, I am Mata at your service. Kang Hai says, I am Kang Hai, your humble servant. Ma Ta says, glad to see you. Kang Hai says, how goes it? Ma and Kang say, we are here waiting for orders from Her Highness, the Royal Princess. Four banner bearers come running to the stage. The princess follows them with a spear and a whip, which she keeps brandishing. The princess says, O oh, unfaithful, say Ping Kuei. I will overtake you and sue you for breach of promise. Ma and Kwang say, A respects to you, your highness, the princess says. Don't stand on ceremony. Are the troops ready? Ma and Kwang say, Yes, your highness, we are waiting for your orders. The princess says, Order them to march to the first pass. Ma and Kwang says, calling, To the first pass. They all retire in order. A small pass is immediately erected on the stage, and its warden appears with two soldiers. The warden says, By the order of Her Highness, the Royal Princess of the Western Regions, I am the warden of the first class. Say appears and calls aloud. Say says, Hey, open the pass for me. The warden says, Where do you come, and what is your business? There's a picture. Say says, by the order of Her Highness, the Royal Princess, I have business of state to transact beyond the pass. Warden says, have you the yellow flag from Her Highness? Say says, yes, here it is. He shows him the flag. Warden calls, shoulders, open the pass for him. Say says, yes, Your Honor. Say goes to the small pass. They have to raise it from the ground to let them go through without stooping. As soon as he is gone, the princess appears with her long procession. The warden kneels before her. The warden says, The warden of the first pass pays his respects to you, your highness. The princess says, Don't stand on ceremony. I want to ask you, how has his majesty the king passed here? Warden, trembling, says, It was a man who passed through, but I don't know if it was his majesty the king. The princess says, furious, don't you even know your king? You are under arrest, she calls. To the second pass, they all retire, the same pass serves as the second pass, and another warden appears with them. The second warden says, by order of Her Highness, Royal Princess of the Western Regions, I am the warden of the second pass. Say appears again and calls aloud. Say says, hey, open the pass for me. The second warden says, Where do you come from and what is your business? Say says, By the order of Her Highness, the royal princess, I have business of state to transact beyond the pass. The second warden says, Have you the yellow flag from Her Highness? Say says, Yes, here it is. He shows them the flag. The second warden calls, Soldiers, open your pass for him. The soldiers say, Yes, Your Honor. 
Say goes through it as before. The princess arrives with her force, and second warden kneels before her. The second warden says, The warden of the second pass presents his respects to you, your highness. Princess says, Don't stand on ceremony. I want to ask you, has his majesty the king passed here? The second warden says, trembling, A man did pass here, but... The princess furious says, Excellent service you are rendering me. Report yourself to the court martial tomorrow morning. She calls, To the third pass! They all retire through the third pass is in a Chinese territory. It is represented by the same pass as formerly. The only difference is that it's placed on the left side instead of the right. The warden of this Chinese pass, General Mu, is an old man. He appears with four soldiers preceding him. Mu says, I am well known for the, my white helmet, white armor, and white banners. I also have a white mustache, white beard, and white eyebrows. After I have drunk plenty of white wine, I will show you the white of my eyes. He salutes. I am Old Mu, the white general at your service. By order of this inferior majesty, the emperor, I am the warden of the third pass, he calls. Soldiers! Soldiers say, yes, your honor. Mu, lead the way to the tower of the pass. The soldiers say, yes, your honor. He sits on a chair placed on a table behind the pass. Say appears and speaks to himself first. Say says, wait, this is now the frontier of my motherland, the third pass in the, in the boundary. The man in the tower of the pass seems to be old General Mu. Let me call him by his name. He calls aloud, hey, my respects to you, old General Mu. Moose surprised says, Thank you, thank you. Who are you to call me by my name? Say says, I am Captain Say Pinkway, coming back from the western regions to report myself at headquarters. Moo frightened says, Oh, the pass is haunted, the pass is haunted. Say says, What do you mean? Moo says, You were killed in the western regions, so this is your spirit which comes to haunt us. Say says, No, I was not killed. My enemy planned my death and thinks I am dead, but I am still alive. Moose says, Is that so? I can hardly believe it. Shouting is heard. Say says, It's quite true. Oh, my dear general. There are troops in pursuit of me. Please let me pass and we can talk over the matter later on. Moose says, All right. I don't think that there is any danger in letting you in alone. Open the pass for him, soldiers. The soldiers say, Yes, your honor. The pass is open and Say disappears through it. Meanwhile, the princess appears before the pass with her possession. Ma and Quang say, We beg you to report to your highness that we have now arrived at the third pass, which belongs to China. The princess says, So we have. Go and ask them to let us pass through. Ma and Quang say, Yes, your highness. The princess says, Come back one moment. Ma and Quang say, Yes, Your Highness. The princess says, As we have come to the territory of another country, we must be more polite in our speech. Ma and Quang say, Yes, Your Highness. The face of old Moo. Ma calling aloud, Hey, my old man. Moo said, Old Moon? We can't see the old moon until midnight. Quang says, My old general. Moo says, Old ginger? Buy it at the market where vegetables are for sale. Ma says, at Ma says, my king. Mu says, there is no kinsman of yours in China. Kiang says, my master. Mu says, mustard, go to the grocery store for it. Ma says, my lord. Mu says, he is in heaven. Kiang says, my emperor. Mu says, you are empty? This is not an eating house. What are you two doing here? You are too ugly to be called human beings and certainly too ordinary to be called devils. And the most peculiar thing about you is how did you get a pair of legs like those of an elephant? Go back and get someone more representable to talk with me. Ma and Kiang say to the princess, he requests your highness's presence. Princess says, all right, I'll go back. Sorry, I'll go. She goes forward. My respects to old grandfather at the tower. Moose says, thank you, and mine to the little grandmother beneath it. What is your business here? Princess says, may I ask you, has his majesty, the king of our country, Captain Say Pink Way of your country, passed through this way? Moose says, his majesty, the king of your country, has not passed, but Captain 
Say Pink Way of our country has passed. The princess says, Don't you know that Captain Say Pink Way of your country is no other than His Majesty the King of our country? If he passed here and, in with, and is with you there, I entreat you to ask him to appear on the wall of the pass, so that we may say a few words to each other. Then I will withdraw with my forces, and I promise you there will be no trouble and no damage. Do you think this can be done, my dear old general? Moo pointing to her. You have a winching little minx. Captain Sim Pankway of your country used to be a robust young giant, and now after 18 years adventure in your country, he comes back the wreck of a man. How can I allow him to see you again, you little minx? Princess says, furious. What impudence, she calls. Ma Ta and Kang Hai. Ma and Kang say, yes, your highness. The princess says, attack the pass. Ma and Kang say, yes, your highness. Drums are sounded and they all point their weapons at the pass. Moo, frightened, says, wait a minute, wait a moment. They do. The pass is made of cloth. It will be damaged if you don't take care. You are very wise and generous, young lady. Oh, why be angry with an old man like me? She laughs. If you will withdraw your short distance, I will ask Captain Say Pink Way to come out and speak to you. After all, I am not his guardian. I don't care what company he keeps. Princess says, you must play fair. Moose says, of course. Play fair, play for a fair later. Princess Calling says, the troops are ordered to withdraw to short distance. They ascent and all retire by the right entrance. Moo, getting down from the tower, says, Captain Say, Pink. Captain Say, Captain Say. And there's another picture of the tower in the living <clears throat> Say says, appearing from the left, may I congratulate you on your victory? Moose says, congratulate the lady, my enemy. Congratulate the lady, my enemy. The victory belongs to her. You were requested to go up to the tower. She wants to speak to you. Say says, thank you for your trouble. He goes up to the tower while Moo retires with the soldiers. I see the princess is coming alone. Princess appearing again. I see the unfaithful one standing alone. To say, what have I done to deserve this? Why did you desert me? Say says, I will tell you everything now. When I was at court the other day, I heard a wild goose uttering sounds like those of a human voice. I shot it and found a letter written in blood from Lady Precious Stream. Princess says, what? Who is Lady Precious Stream? Say says, in for a in for penny, in for a pound, she is my wife. The princess appalled says, what? Your wife? So you already married? You're going back to her now? Say so says, hanging down his head, yes. Princess, the princess says, oh, you must have been deceiving me all these years. Say so says, protesting, no, you wrong me here. I was desperate and in love with you all the time, and I am still. Princess says, then why do you forsake me? Say so says, because, I'm, because I am in honor bound to the other. The princess says, but you ought to have told me this before. Say says, I loved you so much, loved you too much to hurt your feelings. The princess says, to deceive me and then desert me is the most heartless. I will never speak to you again. I hate you. I hate you. Say says, hurt. Please don't. I still love you. Will you be my be a sister to me and go to China with me? The princess says, never. Never. I don't want to hear you now. Say says, but I want to be near you. That's why I asked you to follow me. The princess says, yes, but at a safe distance. Say says, don't say that. I would gladly marry you if I could. Now, will you not be my sister and come with me? The princess says, still obstinate, never. Say, knowing her mind, then I must bid you farewell forever because I may never see you again. The princess says, I don't want to see you again. Say says, tragically, that is a very good thing because you can't, even if you want. I have many enemies in China, and without your military protection, I shall probably be murdered by them very soon. The princess says, moved, oh, I never thought of that. Yes, your general Wei will try to murder you. I must go with you to protect you, even if I hate you. Mm, boo, I'd freaking leave him.
<laughs> you have to make a freaking leave you let your freaking enemies kill you. Say says slyly, No, I can't accept your protection if you still hate me. I have no wish to live if you really hate me and would not mind being murdered. Princess, in a compromising tone, says, Well, I won't hate you. Say says, Will you be my sister? Princess says, No, at most your cousin. Say says, No, sister. Princess says, Let's say first cousin. Say says, No, sister. Princess says, All right, come down at once. Say says, No, in Lady Preciousion's letter, she seems to say she is in great danger, so I must hurry on. Order your troops to be in camp near the pass and wait a message for me, which, I, which will come very soon. Goodbye till then. Princess says, Goodbye. He gets down and disappears. She calls, Ma, she calls, Ma Ta and Kang Hai, order the troops to be in camp here. Ma and King, coming with the troops, say, Yes, Your Highness. They walk around the ridge and retire. The princess follows them. Okay, there's another part starting here, so I'll stop there. Thanks for listening. Ciao.